Hi everyone, this is Cassie from The Crafty Crow and today I'm going to show you how to make these little flowers from Q-tips and coffee filters. So what you need are some Q-tips. You'll need one for each flower. I'm using the precision tip Q-tips but the regular ones will work fine. You'll need a green or yellow marker, some wire cutters, scissors, Something sharp, I'm using an awl, something that will poke a hole. I'm using an awl, but I wouldn't suggest it for use with children. You can use the pointy end of your scissors or even a small diameter hole punch. You need some thick white glue and colored coffee filters. You can use tissue paper. Again, I wouldn't suggest it because tissue paper tears really easily. The coffee filters are real sturdy. They don't tear very easily and they'll just hold up a lot better over time. So you want to get started by taking one of your Q-tips and your wire clippers, and you're going to snip off the end. Let me do this here. And then take one of your markers. I'm going to use yellow, and you're going to brush the side of the tip, uh, side of the marker. You're going to brush the fuzzy tip with the side of the marker here, just until it's covered. Okay. And then just set that aside to dry. Now you want to cut your circles for the petals from the coffee filters. You're going to need to maybe start with at least six circles, and these circles are about an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half in diameter. And you cut them from the coffee filters, and I'll show you how I do it. You fold the coffee filter in half, and then fold it again so that this band here is about an inch and a half wide. Then take your scissors and you're going to trim off that little extra there. And then on the other side you're going to trim off those curves. There, right here where it curves, you want to trim that off. And then I'm cutting down the folds on both sides. And now I'm just going to approximate, but you want to cut your squares. Here. Might be a little short there. It's okay. Here and here. Okay, so now you have your squares, and to cut them into circles, you just need to trim around the corners. Okay, there you have your circles. I have more than six here, so I'm not going to use all of those. I'm just about to split it in half. Now take your awl or your other pointy object, and you're going to poke a hole in the center of the little circles. And you want it just big enough so the end of your Q-tip will go in, go through, but you don't want it to be loose, you know, so they'll hold on there better. Okay, so now take your Q-tip that you colored and your circles that you cut and you're just going to thread them onto your flower there. And the first one especially, pull it down and then squish it all up against the fuzzy part. Uh oh, that didn't cut all the way. It's alright. Squish it down again. Grab that piece. As I'm threading them on, I'm squishing them just a little bit less each time so the petals will fan out. Take it again and kind of squish it down a bit and then feather it out so you can see the center. All right now, take your glue and I just dab a little bit around the base here. And kind of smooth it out with my finger there just to hold it, hold it in there well. Now, from a green coffee filter, you need to cut a rectangle that's about two inches long and about a half inch wide. It's 
just big enough to cover the stem here. Fingers are sticky. All right, put the glue on the stem. And cover it with a green paper. Roll that around. You have a cute little flower. If you want, you can cut little leaves from the green uh, green paper also. You just dab some on and then glue it onto the stem there. This one has some leaves already on it. And that's it. Really, really easy coffee filters and Q-tips. Make sweet little flowers. I hope you'll give them a try and thank you for watching.